In this module, I want to talk you through the basic steps of a mail merge. So first of all, on the screen, I have a blank document, but I could also have a template document with some text on there. Doesn't matter, the process would be the same. What you need to do is go to the mailings tab and first of all, select the type of document that you want. So for this example, I'm going to use the top one letter, which is the default. You then have to select the data list where your data is. So for mail merge to work, you need a, a letter or a, an email and a data list, a list of contacts, for example. That could be in Excel. It could be a word table. It could be in access or you can type it out yourself. So the first option says type a list. This is if you haven't got a list already. That's where you would search for a list that you've already created in another program, perhaps. And there's Outlook Contacts. Now, I find that the hardest because there's so many different fields in Outlook Contacts. It's quite hard sometimes to get the right ones to come through. I tend to create a list in Access or Excel and bring that list in. But let me just show you how you can create a list yourself. First of all, if I click on this option, you get a box popping up with some pre-formatted fields, these column headings. Now you can customize that. If I click on customize, you can get rid of some of these if you think you've got too many, too many options there. That one there, you might not want that. So you can just delete them if you don't want it. Yeah. If you think you've got too many, let's say I don't want the company name, I'll delete that. Yeah. And I don't want two address lines either, so I'll delete that. I'm deleting these fields, but you can also add these fields, add to these fields, should I say. You just click add at the top and put one in there. Um, I don't need a work phone and a phone. Just going to get rid of these. In fact, I'll leave, I'll get rid of the email as well. So this is a very simple list I've got there. So I've just got title, first name, surname, address, city, county, and postcode. So that'll do okay. Now I'm just going to type two people. You just type and you press your tab key. So I'll put myself in there. One red road, city leads, county. West York's postcode LS11D or RD. Hab. Yeah, next one. Then Mrs. Wendy Smith. Two Red Road. She lives next door. Leeds. West York's. Now, this is obviously a starting out where you've got no records whatsoever now I'm not going to add any more because I, when I do the mail merge proper I'm just going to use the list I've already got so you can carry on once you've finished your list and you can come back and edit this list you just click OK it will then ask you to save it in my data sources so I'm just going to call this my list and then it's done. So now if I want to edit that list, I'll go back in there. You can see that list. If I need to add to it, so this edit bit, before I go into it, this edit bit is all about filtering. You can just filter things off. So if you had different um, options you wanted there, you can just select from there and pick something from these drop down lists before you even start the merge. But to add extra things to it, you need to go back into this and then edit that. And then you come back to this box where you can just add some more people if you want. I'll just cancel that one off. And you've also got sort options there and filter options as well. I'll just click OK to that. Now, that is how you create your own list. So that list is attached to this document. But before I go on, I want to change my list. So I'm going back into that and use an existing list because I've got more records in this list. So you can see that's the list I've just done. It's like a little access symbol and it actually is like a, a little access table. But the one I want to get is in Microsoft Access. I've got some example files um, at the top there and then access. And then in there you've got training files. This is a database and in there you've got tables and there's a table I want to use. So same thing, 
I've attached it now, but when I go to edit the list, there's quite a lot more of these. We'll just make that bigger. You can see a lot more details already in there, and that's coming straight from an access database table. So I'll click OK. So now I've got that. Now I need to populate my document. In this section here, you've got some pre formatted sets, if you like. If I click on this one, address block, it's given me a layout there which I can use or I can pick a different one. These are just different styles, slightly changing. But I'm going to go for that one and then just click OK. Comes in with this little bit of code address block. Don't want to see that. You can actually see what it is in English by clicking preview results there. That's good. Now I'm going to not do the um, greetings line, but the same thing applies there. You can just select one of these pre-formatted ones. But I want to show you how you can do it yourself. So from this option, you've got all the fields that's in the database table. So you've got all these fields there. So I want to just use them. So I'm going to go here. And then I'm doing a space. And then I'm going to insert first name. Now, again, that would come in like that if you haven't clicked on preview results. But I wouldn't recommend you do. Press and enter there. And then how did you like and then i'm just going to insert the city field so you can see how this would work so wherever the person wherever the person lives is what's going to come there so if i just navigate through a couple of records you can see that changing so the town's changing the name's changing and the town's changing there and that's basically what you're doing you populate in your documents whether it's a letter or a report with these fields so you can generate a merge now I'm going to save this. You'll just carry on typing um, whatever else you want to put in this document. I'm just going to save this, Control S. I'm going to save it as mail, main, I'll put it main letter. So that's, that is saved and linked to that data source. That's the key. So main letter and then saving that. And then what happened there? Let's go back and do that main letter. Read what it says. Yes. OK, so that's now saved. The merge part, though, is this bit. So you keep opening this and I'll show you how that works. If I go finish and merge, now you've got three options there. Edit in a new document, which I'll do. Print straight away. You can do that if you're absolutely certain it's going to be OK. Send an email message. Well, we're not doing email, so it's the top option I want. And then you click on that. It gives you the option here to filter again if you didn't want all of the records. But I am going to take all the records. And then what you get now is, if I just make this screen bigger, you get a letter. Make the screen smaller, should I say. You get a letter per person in the database table. So each person's got a letter there. You can see them all like that. Now, you don't actually need to save this one because this is like what you would have sent to the printer. So you don't need to save it, but some people do save it for a reference that you've sent, actually sent the letters out. But I'm going to just close this one. Control W, close window, and not saving it. Back to this. Because at the moment, if I just go to the last record, I've got 15 records. If I add another record into that database, this will automatically pick it up as soon as I open it up. Now, I'm not going to physically do that, but I want to close this down. Just Control W on this. I do want to save this one. And then what will happen now is when I open that document, if I go File, it should be in the recent, there it is. It's going to say, do you want to connect up to that data source? So any changes to that data source is going to be reflected here. So yes. And then you get your main document back and then you go back to mail mailings and let's get off there and you can see where it is back to record 15 there you go record one it's asking me to save a copy because i'm not online now that's basically what a mail merge is you have a letter that you merge to a data source and that's it now, some people make this really, really complicated and a lot of people make the mistake of trying to edit the end product and then wondering why, if I just do this bit again, 
this isn't this isn't going to change that's the that's the end product of the merge you don't edit that that's the end product you can just bin that what you edit or make sure is linked is this is this document here that you saved the main letter so that's all i want to talk about in this little video hopefully it's of use and got you going catch you on the next one